the task force are General Walsh and General Permanov, the American and Russian COs. Coming in, Base X looked like any other American airfield. Neat rows of GI tents. Runways dotted with B-17s. Ground crews at the edge of the field, their faces to the sky. One difference, though, the ruins all around the base. A silent reminder that enemy boots had marched in two directions here quite recently. follow each other down, a third of a world away from home. Wheels made in Akron touch steel matting made in Pittsburgh on an American landing field in Russia. Gower, Messick, Ostrander, Zafak, Malone, Schultz, Badowski, Travers, McGee, Stanley, Rudenstein, Betts. A thousand tourists from 48 states on a short visit between two jobs. Tense moment in international relations. Ivan Ivanovich meets Fearless Fosdick. A handshake says, hello, very glad to see you, in any language. Some Russian wax officers and enlisted women were on the welcoming committee, too. It would have been nice to sort of pursue the subject further, but there was work to be done. The second half has already begun. Without the loss of an hour, the mixed ground crews of American and Russian mechanics take over the big bummers. Inspecting damages. Checking engines. Repairing equipment. Getting the fortresses ready for another trip. Okay. Spasiba. Another day. Just beginning. Somewhere in Russia. A task force of this size needs gasoline, more than 350,000 gallons of it. Ammunition, more than a million rounds. Bombs, more than 500 tons. And more than 50,000 American and Russian man hours of servicing and preparation. While the ground crews got the forts and fighters ready, bomb load, 10 500 pound GPs. GP? General purpose. General purpose. To reduce the enemy's mobility. To disrupt his lines of communication, reinforcement, and supply. To destroy his war machine at its very source. His mines, his mills, his factories. And to deliver a message. <laughs>
свидания и счастливый путь. That means good luck. We'll be seeing you. to and from Russia over this aerial highway. In less than four months, 24 targets in Germany and German-held territories, some never before within effective range of our bombers, 